Hi everyone, this is Christian Face Dreams. Today is uh, Saturday, December the 23rd, 2023. Um, I just want to show you, this is my dog, Charlie. She is the beagle. Oh, she is, she's running back here. She's her, her legs a little bit limp. <laughs> but um, this is my beagle. And uh, she's a part beagle, a part terrier. Um, yeah, she likes to stay away from the Layla, the other dog. But um, so she stays to her point. This is my this my son's room here. She likes to stay in my son's room, and um, my other dog Layla is is in here. I'm gonna shut the door so she don't run out and come in because she jumps on the little the little dog, and I'm still trying to train Layla to stop jumping. And, uh, when they're at the dog park, they're a little bit more friendlier with each other because there's other dogs around and it's less distracting on Lalo. Um, <clears throat> so they get tend to have tend to have more more time apart, and uh, Lalo likes to play with other dogs at the park. So, so which makes it better for for Lalo. Um, so I'm gonna go in here and I'll show you this. This is Lalo's bed. If you notice here, I have a separate a separator here because if you put the dog in the in the crate, if it has less 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 room for the dog to go to the bathroom, uh, she's not going to go to the bathroom. And really, she hasn't had many accidents in here, so which is good. Um, so I just keep this separate to keep it separate for her. And then I have a I have a, a yep. She wants out. I'm gonna let her out. I have this for the bait. So that way, uh, now she was sick one day and I had, I put doggy, I put doggy pads at the bottom so she doesn't, she, in case she went to the potty, but she ripped them all off. You can see right here. So, so I'm going to let her out. We're going to go. Come on. There you go. See, she likes to run around. No, I have to, as soon as she gets out, she'll run directly for water, which is fine. But, uh. I want to make sure that she doesn't go to the bathroom. So the first thing I want to do after she gets her drink of water, I want to make sure she, uh, she goes out. Now, the other thing I, I wanted to try is have a little bell here. That way when, when she needs to go to the bathroom, you can just ring the bell uh, and then she'll come up, maybe tap the bell. I've had friends who actually have done that in the past. Um, but she's pretty thirsty. So... <clears throat> Another thing is I want to try is um, maybe getting, learning, just trying to get her used to having her nails clipped, uh, for me at least, because I've, I've had so many issues with, with Charlie and Lalo with clipping their nails. Um, it's, if I have a if I have her in my vehicle, uh, she's sitting in the back, and she'll have her paws up on the, the middle console. I may be able to do it easier that way to get her used to it because I've been, you know, feeling my hand over her paws, get her used to that for me touching her paws. And even if it's a little bit at a time, like one one or two nails at a time, uh, or even per day, at least she'll get you in the, in the feel for that with your dog uh, for clipping the nails. I also bought a grinder, uh, to try to clip to try to grind the nails down more but i haven't got to that point yet i haven't got to the point where i'm used to getting her nails clipped right away so here's this is what when they start sniffing around that's when you want to you want to start you want to make sure they go outside so i'm going to open the door and see if she goes right out Hello, come on come on come on and she's going there we go good girl so She's a little distracted. Uh, she has a tennis ball down there. So, I don't have much room for her here. See, so you need to clean out the, uh, clean out the yard too, some poop. No, uh, nope, she wants to go back in. So, she gotta keep an eye on her because she sees she's sniffing around. So I'm gonna let her back out. No. Because I came in, I think she wanted to come back in. So what I do is I'll I'll have a little treat. Just a little treat for her. That way when she goes out, she'll go out. Yep. 
should go right now. <clears throat> the other issue is, uh, I didn't even want to show it to you, but the, the deck where Charlie goes out, Charlie doesn't like to go down the steps because she's older. I have to take her out front. Uh, so there's some poop on the deck from Charlie and she pees there. I'm just hoping the Layla doesn't walk on it. She usually stays away from it. So, um, <clears throat> and then with the toys I have, the chew toys, um, I just have some, this is a rope for her. So that way she, she can use to chew that fine. I also have a, now she has been pretty good about not chewing my furniture, but granted, I keep her, if you look here, this is the uh, little fence I have here. Now you can, um, I bought this for her to keep it separated. If you look, you can keep this separated from, now I did this to keep her separated from Charlie. So look at this, you can put this in, a, this is a little, how big this is. That way, if you're cooking dinner, or if you're doing dishes and you need, you know, keep keep the dog or your puppy occupied, these work great. I mean, you can get these off of Amazon. Um, they're like 35 bucks. Uh, it's pretty high. You can get a smaller one too. Um, so I've noticed that she hasn't really... Now, what she'll, sometimes she'll come in here and she might start chewing on the furniture. I don't know if you can tell here if anything was chewed on. It looks pretty good. She hasn't done it that much because I usually catch her when she's in the process of doing that. Uh, the one issue I have is uh, is my couch. It's a little stinker. She'll she'll get in here and start chewing on this this love sofa here, right here. That's bad. Oh, I let her do that for a while, and I was, I was like, man, I should have stop should have stop that. So what I did was. Um, which I don't recommend is I took one of these bones. <clears throat> this will get, this will help, help you from keeping the dog from chewing. And one of these bones here, okay. Now she loves this. Now what I did was I filled it, I put more peanut butter in there and that'll uh, get the dog, that'll keep the dog from chewing, chewing the furniture instantly. Um, but the problem is it doesn't last that long because once the peanut butter is gone, then, uh, then the dog goes to chewing other things. So no, this is a nice thing. Tug, this is to stop the dog from biting. I got one of these little rope. You let her to, I'll demonstrate it when she comes in. Uh, what you do is when she starts biting, you want to stick this on her in her mouth or in the puppy's mouth and just start tugging. And I'll show you once she comes in here. Watch this. Layla. Layla. Now, if I call her, she'll come right in. Here she comes. There she is. Come on. Yep, see? This is what you want to do. Now you want to... Okay. You want to um, say, good girl, good girl, and pet her while she's doing this. That way she'll, she'll know that she's it's okay for her to chew this. Because if she's chewing the furniture, you say no and redirect her to this, to the rope. Now, you tie, tie on her, look at that. Yeah, she likes that. Okay. That way, and also when she's, if she is, see, if she stops, if she starts chewing the furniture over here, that's what you want to do right here is, is redirect her to this, to one of these, the ropes. See that? Yeah, she likes that. <laughs> and then as she's, as she's doing that, you just say, hey, pet her. See, I can't pet her because I have my, um, I have this in my, I have the phone in my hand, so I can't like, so what you want to do is take the rope in one hand and then take your hand and start petting her. Say, good girl, good girl. Because she knows that it's okay to chew that rope. Now, if she's chewing the, the furniture, that's where you want to redirect her to the rope. You know, see, she's she's busy. She's not messing with your furniture now. I'm messing with the furniture. So, and that's another thing you got to watch. I got to watch her because she, she'll get on here. And she'll start chewing. Getting in here and trying to get in this. Trying to chew in that. Trying to chew in the chairs. See. 
uh, keep that keep that uh, nice and keep an eye on it. Um, another thing is it does tend to get it messy is she loves stuffed animals. So most puppies do. You get a stuffed animal right here. Oh, she's coming after it. It's Rudolph. She wants stuffed animal. That also redirect her if she's chewing something. She's just back the rope. The rope is the number one thing. So you want to help stop your dog from chewing, just redirect her to something like this, to a rope. Now, another thing is, um, now the balls, the problem is with the balls, so the tennis balls, though, th this works better, I think, because watch, go through it. That keeps her occupied, because what problem is with the tennis balls, she goes nuts. And you know why? It's because the balls will go right underneath the, right underneath here, right underneath the drawer, dresser, underneath the entertainment center, underneath the couch. And then she's just constantly barking, and then you're in the middle of doing something else. You have to stop what you're doing and go there. So she stops barking, and then redirect her to something else. So now I haven't heard of her problem with the with the um, with any of the carpet. Um, now there is some issues with my carpet here. That's from my cats I had previously, which I got rid of. I don't I don't recommend getting a, a, a two cats, stray cats with a your puppy that's what i had to do i had to get rid of them because they're messing up my carpet with our claws so but uh i have a friendly cat right now which he is not around he's downstairs somewhere now he's he's not friendly to lalo he tries to be but lalo of course just lalo is pretty much afraid of him but she gets excited when she sees him yep, see, there's your stuff there she likes that. Yeah. Here's another one, Layla. Oh. And they said these things work nice. Now I don't know if I I I have to show you the one. I have a little gate for Charlie too. Now I can't take Layla in there, but um, I'll show you the gate I have for Charlie. Now you stay out here, Layla. You stay out here. So here's a little gate I have for Charlie. This is I got on Amazon too. This will keep them separated that way. I can put it right here in a little area. That way she doesn't go. She won't go have any accidents. Right, Charlie? Now, Charlie's not a chewer at all. She doesn't chew anymore. She just likes to stay put. Yeah, I don't have any problems there. Sometimes she might have accidents in the house. Um, overall, she's good. Yeah. So. All right. Lilo, you stayed out here. Good girl. Hi, Lilo. Uh, now, the other thing is she likes to dance. Uh, we'll put her dancing around with the dog. <laughs> so, another thing is she jumps. I let her jump on me sometimes, and I shouldn't because um, I'm afraid that, I mean, she's very playful. Like, I took her over in my friend's house. And uh, we were having a Bible study, and they said they can we take the dog over. But the problem is they have a, a little girl. She's four, and uh, and she's short. So she's small. So I didn't want the risk of the, the dog jumping on her and knocking her over and stuff. And I'm trying to train her not to jump. But then I love when you know, she jumps up on me, and then we'll, like, dance and stuff. Like, watch us. See, we'll start dancing. That's what I call it. I hold her up. I can't hold her up because because I have a uh, the phone in my hand. <laughs> but, uh, come here. See, come here, jump. I know, I shouldn't have having her jump. Yeah, see? That's she's trying to bite. See, that's where you want to redirect her right here, watch. We redirect her here, there you go. See how she be biting me? Okay, so what you want to do when she starts the puppy starts biting, you just want to redirect them to something else. Redirect them to the rope. There she goes. She starts stuff around. I don't want her. I don't want her around here because she's gonna start. See, there she goes. She's starting to sniff. Right here. That's Charlie's bed here. And I had a problem with Lalo um, going to the bathroom on the beds. So that's another thing I gotta. I gotta stop her and have it up. She went on her own bed. She's trying to you know show her. Uh, Domination. Aren't you, Lalo? Come here. Let me pet you, girl. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. 
Well, oh, this is Christian Face Dreams. And I uh, just want to show you uh, Charlie again and maybe go over, like I said earlier, about, about how to stop a dog from chewing. Just redirect them to something else. Redirect them to the rope. That works best. Um, and also, uh, now another thing is I could show you was you know when they jump and I, I like I like how she jumps on me <laughs> but um how to stop a dog from chewing was the the bone <clears throat> not much peanut butter just a little bit of peanut butter sticking there okay so don't overdo it because they tend to get sick if you give them too much peanut butter but again thanks for watching my channel this is Christian face dreams and today is uh Saturday December 23rd 2023 uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. Uh, thank you again for watching. God bless.